Welcome to the High Power Wind Lab Help Series. In this episode, we will be discussing the holdover feature. The holdover feature is intended to be used by scoped rifle shooters who prefer to hold an aim point on the target versus dialing each correction. Before we get started, ensure the holdover feature is enabled on the main setup screen. When the holdover feature is enabled, a yellow dot appears on the target. This dot represents the aim point needed to hit the center of the target for a given wind condition. As you can see, when we adjust the velocity of the wind, the holdover aim point adjusts accordingly. In this case, for the given wind velocity, the holdover aim point is approximately one minute left of center. Similarly, when the angle of the wind is changed, the holdover aim point is adjusted accordingly. In high wind conditions, you cannot rely on holdover alone. Once a condition exceeds a practical holdover aim point, High Power Wind Lab compensates by adding a dialed correction needed to keep the aim point on the target on the upside of the condition. This occurs when the aim point exceeds three minutes left or right of center. You can see the amount of additional dialed correction needed in the upper left corner of the target next to the dial label. In this case, it's telling the shooter to dial three minutes on the scope and hold the aim point. In some situations, the requested aim point may be in an inconvenient location on the target for the given condition. For example, the software may request three minutes in the scope and a holdover just inside the black. If the condition is steady and you prefer to hold closer to center, you can adjust the dialed correction manually. To do so, first unlock the scale, then drag the scale so that the holdover is in a place that works for you. After making your selection, relock the scale to prevent inadvertent changes. We can now see that for this holdover aim point, you will need four minutes left on the scope. This gives you a 30 degree angle bracket and a four mile an hour velocity bracket to work in before needing to add or remove corrections from the scope. The amount of manual correction made is indicated here on the left side of the screen. This value is in addition to the dial amount being requested by the app. To remove the manual correction, you can either drag the scale until the man value is zero, or simply long press the scale, which will reset it to zero. Thank you for watching. For more videos in the High Power Wind Lab help series, please like and subscribe.